Welcome to the start of a brand new tutorial series. And in this tutorial series, we're going to be creating a top-down shooter using JavaScript. And this is how the game is going to look once you're done with all, all the videos. Let's get started with this video where we're going to be adding the canvas for our game. So to get started, we're going to have to download. So if we look in the link in the description, we're going to have a link to a Dropbox where we have all the initial coding things that we need for our game. So click download and click or continue with download only. You don't have to sign up at all. All you have to do is click download. And I already have it right here. Um, and if we just click on this, we'll notice that we have three files. We have the images that we're going to be using. So here's the zombies, um, our player, the bullets, a crosshair, a game over screen, and a grass image. Now, I'm going to have these individually in the description as well if you want to check the original sources. Um, and then I also have the index HTML. Um, if we open that, um, oh my gosh, if we open this, we'll notice that, um, let me just zoom out a little bit. We'll notice that we just have our zombie shoot um, shotgun apocalypse. So we already have the, the, what is it called? We already have the um, layout for our game. I um, mean, then we have a description. This isn't the description of the actual zombie game. This is just of a previous um, game I made. You can go ahead and change this to whatever you want in the HTML file. And then the game controls are here as well, which are accurate game controls. We're going to move forward with W S shoot with left mouse button and restart. So now let's get started with the actual coding. So if we go to visual studio code, um, we can click open folder. JavaScript zombie shooter code and we have this here. So we're going to select this folder and this is what we're going to be using to code. So yes, I trust the authors and let's begin. So the first thing we want to do is create a brand new file and we're going to call this script.js. And if we want to um, access our script.js in our actual code, um, we have to say script, okay, which I already have here. Um, so we're going to change this to script dot JS and we're just linking, um, right here to the script, um, script dot JS. And now we can work on the actual script. So the first thing we need to do is in quotations, add script, um, we need to add use strict. Um, and this is just going to ensure that all our code is, um, has to be initialized. So we actually have to, um, declare a variable using the let keyword and, um, all that good stuff to make sure that mistakes aren't, e um, are caught more easily. So then we're going to say function start game. And this function right here is being called at the beginning. So once the body is loaded, we're going to start game. And all we want to do is create a game area, which is going to create our canvas. So we're going to say slash. Um, create canvas and then we're going to say let game area equal canvas document dot create element canvas. And then we're going to say start function and we're going to set the the length of our canvas so we're going to set set length equal to width to 1 to 80 and then this dot canvas dot height equals to 720 so right here we're just setting the width and height of our canvas with um the start function so with our function once we click game area so let's do this game area dot start so if we call the function in this variable game area dot start um we're going to set the a brand new we're going to create a new canvas with the width of 1 to 80 and the height of 720. next we're going to say this um dot context um this dot con oh my gosh this dot con text equals to this dot canvas dot get context 2d and then we're going to clear the interval game area um, dot interval 
So, um, yeah, we're just going to set a 2D context for um, because it's a 2D game. And then we're going to be running um, this canvas every um, amount of seconds. But we need to clear the interval. And then we're going to create a brand new interval. So we're going to say this dot interval um, equals to set interval. And then we're going to um, say update game area. I um, mean, we're going to call that 20 times. Um, a second. So now we're going to create another um, function called um, we're going to call this update game area. So let me just um, do this function um, update game area and then we'll simply just say game area um, dot clear. So first we're going to clear everything that's in the game area and then we're going to of course update them again um, once we're um, we've cleared everything because we don't want any um, things staying on the screen after we've um, we have to first clear it and then update the screen. So then we're going to say um, game context um, and then we're just going to say let ctx equal to game area dot context. OK, semicolon so net. And now we can go back to our canvas we're creating that we're creating um, and we're going to say um, this dot interval and then we're going to say this dot canvas we're going to give the canvas an id um just in case you want to do any changes to it um via ht i mean css so we're going to call this game window we don't have any um settings on it yet so if but this is something if you want to have it personally and then we're just gonna um we want to put um the canvas underneath the game title so we need to set the position of our canvas and we're going to do this by saying document um, dot body um, dot insert um, before and there's gonna say this um, dot canvas um, comma document um, dot body um, dot child nodes um, and then we're not going in, in any child we're just using the 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 h1 element so we're gonna say h1 element um element equals to document um dot query selector and then we're just gonna use so if we go here in our index the name of our game title um class this is the class name so game title so we're just gonna use that game um title um, but we also have to make sure that it's a h1 so we're just going to say h1 dot game title and then the final um one of the last things you have to do just say h1 um, element dot insert adjacent element and then we just say after end um comma this dot canvas and then just say comma and then clear um function and all we have to say here is um, this dot context dot clear oh my gosh clear rect zero comma zero comma this Okay, cool. Now, um, we can go ahead and test this by um, all you have to do is go um, right, right here, index.html, and open it. And yep, now we got a proper canvas um, in our game. That's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Please smash that like button if you enjoyed the video. It really does help the channel. Please also smash that subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you don't miss the next video where we're going to be adding components into the screen. So we're going to see a player in the screen that we're going to be adding. So see you in the next one. Peace.